Okay, welcome everybody. Before I start today, as usual, please keep your mics off and ask questions via chat simply because I own I am the only one who has the megaphone and people who are watching my live stream or my video later cannot hear your question. For the people who watch my lesson via Twitch, please be aware I always have an edited version of each lesson on my YouTube channel. There you will see my screen up and close so you can follow my steps better. The URL of the edit video is in this description of this video. If it's not, you're probably watching it live or, you ha uh, or I have not edited this video just yet. Before I start with today's lesson, I want to announce that buttons and zippers bug is partially solved. All designs created with Marvelous Designer 8 with zippers and buttons work again. And if you are still creating clothes in Marvelous Designer 8, you are good to go. However, if you use Marvelous Designer 9, you still will have the problem that buttons do not get their own material. The company behind Marvelous Designer told me that they were had having internal problems, but they hope to push the update next week. So if you like to work with buttons and zippers, it's either better to wait another week or create them with Marvelous Designer 8. Another thing I want to share real quick is that you have the option to change how to pan, zoom, rotate, etc. So if you are used to Blender or other programs, yeah, you might have, uh, have a hard time getting used to Marvelous Designer. So I like to point out that if you have the op that you have the option to change your key bindings. For that you go to settings, user settings, view controls. And you, you can change whatever you like to work with. You can also change shortcuts to whatever you like. So that might come in handy for some people who like to use, uh, who like, uh, who are used to work with Blender, etc. So let's start. Today I will be explaining how you can create belts and suspenders. Normally it can be done pretty easy with a marvelous designer, since you can find examples in the presets. For that you go to library, and here you can find buckles. Just one, but you can find one. And in rings, you can find suspenders, etc. But the problem is that they do not work in Sensor. As soon as you load up a design with any of these objects, they are gone. Still, you might have seen some designs of me or from others who do have belts and suspenders, and they are mostly smoke and mirrors. My motto with these things is you have to fake it to make it. And I will show you two methods how to fake them. First, I will start with a base pants, jeans, whatever you like to see in it. At this moment, it's just a base. And I'm going to create a belt around it. The first thing I'm going to do is make a rectangle um, about 65 centimeters and a height three and a half that depends on your design I know that my uh, length uh, height here is about four centimeters so I t take a little less so I take three and a half okay waiting till it appears and I'm going to give this another fabric I'm going to say assign and then it will automatically go to the basic fabric and that's what I like at this moment I'm going to place it a little bit in the middle now I'm going to you make use of this show arrangement points, which will make it easier for me to place something. And I'm going to place it here. Then I can turn it off. And I'm going into the side. Now it's selected. 
going to arrange points and I'm going to change the offset a little bit so that it fits better around my avatar and I'm going to help it a little bit like this and I'm going to sew it together now you will see there is going to be a little problem now, of course it will not directly go in between the loops so what I'm going to do I'm going control Z and I have to think about layering because I want actually the pants to be the first layer then I will have the belt and then I will have the loops so what I'm going to do is look at the side here and then here you see layers now I'm going to select the belt and since the pants is on layer 0 I'm going to say the belt is on layer 1 and the loops are on layer 2 somebody is having his mic on okay now we are going to try that again I'm going to bring it a little bit lower and I'm going to simulate again and as you can see almost there <laughs> Let's see, yes, this should be good. Let's try that again. We were almost there, but there is another problem. I'm going to stop the simulation right here because this belt is a little bit tight. It still wants to flip out. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to sew the lower part to this line. And I'm going to use free sewing for that because then you can sew the whole thing all in once. First, I'm going to start here. I'm going to drag it till the end. Then I'm going to start where it should go further. Continue till the end. Now I'm going to click enter. And I'm going to do it the same with the belt and click enter and there should be appearing sewing lines now there they are and I'm going to click simulate that's step one but it's still lit a little bit thin and I want to create the illusion that it's thicker so I'm going to go to the top of the belt and I'm going to say offset pattern outline and I'm going to change this to 0.25 create an internal line and say okay as you can see you see it already appear here now I'm going to say cut and sew and I can already can simulate it to see a little bit more but still not the right effect what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the sewing line I'm going to change this angle to about 90 and try that again as you can see they are now folded and that gives you the idea the illusion that you are looking at the thicker belt and I'm also going to sew the parts up upper part together now Simulate it again. OK. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to give it a little brownish color for the so that we can see it a little bit better. That it looks more like a belt for this purpose. So that's the first part, and as you can see, it look pretty looks pretty good. Yeah. But it needs a buckle, so I'm going to create one. Starting with a rectangle, and I'm going to make it four centimeters wide and five centimeters high. And I'm going to give this his own material, so I'm going to assign a new material. And to see it better, because we want it to be metal later, I'm going to give it the metal look. And what I'm also going to do is make this crane leather, because I want this part to be more stiffer. Let me see where it is. There it is. I'm going to arrange it on the spot where I want it. there oh no I just wanted to do it in another way I was thinking about doing it different but I'm going to what no I'm going to re redraw this one I'm going to first going to draw just a one fourth of that belt and I'm going to show you why in a s few seconds let's start with so it's going to be white two and height two and a half a quarter like i said yes then i'm going to remove this one Because I want to have it round edges and I can draw four edges, but I don't have to. I'm going to draw one edge and the other edges will be uh, just exactly the same as that one. I'm going to split it here and I'm going to say 0 0.75 and I'm going to do the same here. Split 0 0.75. And I'm going to remove this point. I'm going to take my edit curvative and make this a nice curve. Yeah, I'm satisfied with that. Then I'm going to click on the, this line and I'm going to right click and say unfold. And I do the same with this one. First, I'm going to convert this to curve point or the lead point as well. Could, could also be done. Then I'm going to unfold again. See, so I got every corner is now exactly the same as the one I started with. This one I'm going to delete, convert to curve point, convert to curve point, convert to curve point. Those points are unnecessary. Then I'm going to make a hole in it and I'm going to do it like this and offset internal line. And was it? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> What's going on here? Delete all curve points. It's maybe that. Delete all curve points, delete all curve points, and delete all curve points. That should solve that problem. Offset internal line again. Yeah, internal. And I'm going to. <laughs> okay, that's throwing me for a loop at the moment. That's funny. Oh, 
one looks good. That one looks also good. Funny thing, I did this yesterday because I always prepare my lessons and somehow I didn't do this at all. And now it is. Funny thing. Hmm, that looks better. But the second one is going to is wonky. <laughs> that coming from okay I'm going to try this one more time remove somehow I did it wrong two centimeters by two and a half and we're going to split this one split This one as well. Delete points. Mm -hmm. Unfold. Trying again. Offset internal line. That looks good. All right, I think I got it. Not sure what happened there, but we got it. Again. 0 0.75 again and I s do see a little wonky there but that's not a problem I'm going to convert it to delete to convert all curve points so to keep it straight mm -hmm. going to remove points that are not necessary curve point and this thing I can say convert to whole and we're going to place it in front of the part of the belt the start of the belt oh. yes and like I said I made this one and I'm going to change it here so you can see it letter it is officially you would have thought maybe that I would have made the belt letter but that would not work for several things later F if I change this to letter now it would but because I'm going to add more things uh, to it later it will clash with each other a lot of things when you work with several fabrics you will notice that not all fabrics are each other's friends they will, uh, yeah, they will eat each other or destroy <laughs> each other, literally. So sometimes you have to figure things out and you figure it out by doing it a lot, a lot of times and seeing things go wrong. And in the end, you get more and more the idea why things do not work and why they don't, why, uh, how they should work. And that's just a matter of try, try <laughs> and try again. So now. I'm going to sew this part to this as I'm going to start with and since sometimes it's hard to see where what is you can also click on things and you will see in the 2d fit uh, viewing port a, a blue dot appear where you just click so you know this side is what I'm looking for 
So I'm going to sew this part together now. And I'm going to help it a little bit. And now you again see a problem. The belt, uh, the buckle goes under the belt. So that's another layer problem. Now we made the belt layer one, and this is going to be layer two then. I'm going to change, oh no, that's the one. I have to change the buckle to layer two. And then I'm going to simulate it again. Sometimes you have to go back and so I it again, layer two. As you can see, now it stays on top. I have to make another line where the other side should go. I'm going to just click it. Sometimes you have to eyeball it a little. It's just, it's not real clothing. So it's, if it works, it's just going to be fine as well. So, and you can easily change it if it's not right it's not like real life sewing <laughs> if you do it wrong there you probably will see it now it's going to curl a little bit and i'm going to explain you why it's that because of how this line is together is sewn this part to this part and I'm going to change that now by going to custom angle and I'm saying turned and now I'm going to simulate again and normally that should have changed no nope. one moment um, Nope, that's also not it. Let me see what's going on here. back and this is already let's change it to default simulation then that's not it either one moment let me check what's going on here. custom angle and 580 <laughs> but somehow it's, it's not working with me at the moment Now it is. Sometimes you have to pull it. Yeah, no, no, not yet, not yet. Maybe it's too tight here. Let's try it a different length then. No, that's not it. Mm -hmm. 
checking my reference file one moment. <coughs> that was my husband coughing in the back. <laughs> to take the belt buckle as a guide, drag it to here, and to show me what the problem is. And if you sometimes want to see everything, you can use this, and you can better see everything without the texture I'm going to open my back up to see what the problem is because I already made everything Here we should be on the same stage. So I'm going to sew these parts. And check which layer this is. It's layer zero, so I'm going to change it to two. And now it's seems to work with me and there is nothing really custom angle going to use this as a guide going to place it to the back so that I can draw on the belt and I'm going to sew those parts together <laughs> and now I'm going to try this again with turns because I'm going to open a step further to see what I'm doing wrong. This one. Open. going to look at my see here, here I do have it turned and why it's not working with me I do not uh, know it looks further the same oh this one is 
Oh, that, and I need the other one. Turned. Yeah. The next thing we're going to do, because it's still thin, very thin, is going to, I'm going to add a new layer on it. So I'm going to create the illusion of thickness also here as well. I'm going to say clone over and I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to say, but as you can see, it's going to go berserk. But that is because I need to add another fabric on this part. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to say remove linked editing. And I'm going to give this its own layer. And this is leather. I'm going to change it again so that we know. And this is just the basic. And I'm going to do that again. What is this today? <laughs> okay, is this leather? Yes, this is leather. And this is basic and it should be incredible hmm. it's not my day <laughs> okay let's see what is going on Sewing. Oh, wait. I think I already know. Get my, get my sewing back. I am going to make extra internal lines in this. five two times okay and those lines are going to have a curve to zero oh this is crane letter that's also a problem that shouldn't be okay I think it's going to work now no still not The weird thing is I can show you step for st by step what I did yesterday and then it worked all just fine. We didn't even have an update or something, so my computer is hunting me at this moment. What I'm going to do, that might help at the moment, is going to freeze my belt. So that's not interfering at the moment, so it can just rest on that, yeah. And my jeans at this moment as well. So that can not interfere at the moment. Well, as you can see, I made this lines, I gave it a curve. to zero and kept it just at five and I can do two things I can fold rendering on or off on is giving sharp lines and off is giving smooth lines I'm going with smooth so that it looks more rounder and I'm going to also make this a little bit bigger just a tiny bit As you can see, you're can, uh, getting a little bit of thickness like that. And that's what I'm looking for. You can never get them perfectly straight. It will always have a little bit of a yeah, wonky, wobbly, uh, handcrafted sort of look. It's not always 
perfectly straight because yeah it's it's actually fabric you're mimicking m the metal look going to make this metal as well so you can see what we are what the look is we are going for okay Next thing we're going to do is going to give it an extra part which uh, officially goes to the belt with the, with the holes. So I'm going to make it start here and ends there. So I'm going to check this was three and a half. Okay, three and a half and yeah, right angle. Mm, 20 and three and a half. Okay. Uh, and this part that made the made it thicker and maybe I should change it to letter later but I'm going to keep it for this now but it should okay now I'm going to it's going to be placed here so as you can see there is the blue point so I'm going to bring it there so it's easier to see I'm going to change the fabric into the fabric I'm already using for the belt and I'm going to sew it together and I'm going to align it and I have to take care of a layer thingy because there are two th this needs to stay on top of the first part of the belt so and that was layer one this is going to be layer two, but then we need to change the loops because they are going to become now layer three. So I'm going to change that to layer three. And to keep it a little bit more that it's going to lay on top of the belt in the right way, I'm going to help it a little bit more. I'm going to take my free sewing tool too, and I'm going to do this and on the upper part as well just a part and you, and you can see why you have to stop at the same length where the blue dot appears and I'm going to say okay and I'm going to draw this. No, that doesn't help. That does. A little bit of pulling. And I'm going to make a triangle at the end. Split, uniform split, something like this. Let's see if my belt already lets me work on it. <laughs> no, still not yet. But what we also can do, if you have this problem, I'm thinking of another solution. Control Z, Control Z. I am going to bring back this part. I am going to delete my points here. And I'm going 
going to draw again the off internal line. See if that, uh, this is going to help me to keep the shape. Oh, now it drops off. Okay, I'm going to sew this back together and this back together. No, that's the wrong line. That's the wrong line. That is the right line, but we need to put this line to this one. Ah, wait. I think I finally see what my problem is. Okay, back. can get back my hole. Sometimes it's a puzzle. You, mu you must love <laughs> to puzzle if you like to create clothing. Mm, get back, get back. Where is my hole? Okay, there are two parts where I can sew it to. I can put uh, this and this one or this one and this one and that is where the problem probably lies now i don't know wh which i did first so i'm going to try at eat both uh let's see which what is what that's that and this one is there let me show I need to see the lines. It's not really showing my lines at the moment. There. That line is there and I'm going to replace that one. I'm going to remove this one. Yes, and then I'm going to place that line here. And let's try that again. No! <laughs> what the deuce? Why? sometimes you want to pull your hair out um, what I am going to do is something totally different because I can show you the end result a step further but that's not what we are here for right we want to show how to solve this thing what I'm going to do I'm going to create another line here just a little bit further this way because it seems to have a little problem with the edge somehow I think, I guess. So, first of all, I'm going to remove this line, and delete, which I have two lines here, why? This. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, now I see those parts are sewn together. That is also <laughs> not very smart. Okay. So if that's the problem, 
we can do this again and I'm going to freeze this one for just a sec oh it's already sewn together so that should not be a problem but the inside isn't anymore so I'm going to do that as well work with me yes Finally, well, not quite, almost <laughs> better, but still not there. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. First of all, I'm going to remove the lines from this one. Delete. to pull it to the sides and freeze this comes in very handy as you can see freeze is always very handy to use and I'm going to watch as this thing what's going to happen that looks great that looks good that looks like it should that's not a problem as far as I can see it just maybe a little bit it can be a little bit shorter And simulate. And that's not the problem. Mm -hmm. try this again then okay back because if you have frozen it it will go to the frozen position on freeze default simulation better i can remove the seam taping probably Boy, oh boy. Next step, step, I'm going to s search where things should be good, then maybe I can figure out what the hell I did wrong. And here, I, it seems like I did exactly the same, but... And here it works. So the main thing, I'm not sure what step I did wrong at the moment, but the main thing is this part is leather for me. And that can you, you can also see that here. Full grain leather. This part... Is default for simulation. 
and it pu does push and pull a little but not too much you do always get a little bit of pressure and this one I didn't make any bigger so that could be also the problem as you can see the next step I'm going to do is I uh, had some extra belt here let's going to open another project uh, other the next step so it's easier because time is flying and I didn't even do my suspenders yet okay this part you saw me doing just now before things went wrong as you can see I even made some holes in it and that's very easy to do you just it's a nice trick tr and so I'm going to show you how to keep them evenly and with uh, the same distance it's a good thing to know. First I'm going to remove this ones, these ones, if these going to allow me. Yes, delete. If you made a hole, and a hole is very simple to make, you just go to internal ellipse and you draw a hole and that's it and then you're going to say when it's drawn just like I did uh, before with the belt make a hole but you, you can do that with ah, I'm just going to show you this is just, just an example and then you can say convert to hole right but the beauty is when you copy one and I have this one, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here, Control V, and I'm not going to do anything yet, then I'm going to push my right mouse button, and I can say with an interval fall of what you would like, and I do two, and then I'm going to, again, I want to have it here, let's try that again around the middle here yes and an interval of two centimeters but I didn't do it in the right pattern copy select the right pattern then control V interval of two centimeters why are you not doing it this moment I just not having my day today somehow <laughs> okay what I probably must do is first paste one let's do that yes and now I can control V and now I can continue to and until you have enough and you say okay and that, wa that way you have exactly the same interval between every hole so that it looks right I did the same here and the next thing and the also did is an extra I made an extra piece which I sewn here and here so in the first ring not in the second ring and I left it a on purpose a little bit bigger because if you then look from above it seems like really a belt is going through there the next thing I'm going to make is the pin and I'm going to use the internal internal polygon and I'm taking this as my guide. I'm going to draw a point here, a point there, a point there, and I'm going to make the wait until my line is pink so that I know it's straight. Going to uh, until I find both lines now. You can see that it's both straight, so I'm going to set a point there. And I'm going to close it by going to the beginning. Then I'm going to take my 
edit curvative. And I'm going to make the curve just like the circle of the hole for the pin. And oh, I draw a wrong one. That's an internal. I need the this one again. So draw, draw, draw. Pink, pink lines, there are the pink lines, yes, now it is a pin, going to give it the right fabric, and curvative, and I'm going to pull it aside so I can sew these parts together. And I have to make sure I have this also again on the right layer because everything is has to lay on top. So I'm going to select my belt. I see that's layer two at the moment. So this is going to be layer three. And I'm going to simulate it. Yes. And now I want it to lay on top of this. So I'm going to look at the belt, place a spot around there. So I'm going to take my free sewing. That's too much. I'm going to do it different. I'm going to first going to do this one. So I know how much it's going to be. And I eyeball it for now to the blue dot. And I'm going to simulate it. Almost there, but I think it needs a little bit higher. And it needs a little bit of curvative because it's a little flat now. And that's pretty easy to do. I'm just going to divide this into two points I'm going to use as a guide I'm going to go make an internal polygon line and this one too and I'm going to select them both and I'm going to see if that's the way to go seems like it or the other way sometimes you have to exaggerate things to see if it's the uh, right way and I'm going to turn this off so it's nice and smooth yeah and that's a belt so I used yeah this is, let me see one more thing before, uh, yeah, this, to make it thicker, that I showed you in the beginning, this, this uh, extra part, I made full grain leather, and this is just the normal standard building fabric. The back of this belt is, is also, again, full grain leather. And the front is not, it's just normal fabric, as well as the pin. And that's a way to create a belt. Now I also promised suspensors, so I'm going to show you that quickly how I did with my uh, overall. I'm going to open my project. No, I don't want to save this.
Suspenders uh, are a different. In this in this uh, tuto a small uh, tutorial, I'll show you how I did my uh, overall. I have, as you can, may maybe you can remember that I have here the suspenders. Now, what I did is pretty simple. First thing I did was find some real suspenders, and I'm going to show you. One moment. I found myself these suspenders. And all I did was edit them like this. I made a mask on it. And as you can see, it's missing a part now here. That is because that's where the fabric would go. So I saved this as a PNG and then went into Marvelous Designer. I take this part and I set assign to new fabric. Then I went to texture. I chose that suspender and I opened it. No, then you don't see it because you have to place the suspender in the right spot. You have to work a little with the texture. And the most right, a little bit bigger. Yeah, that looks right. And I do the same to the other side. I'm changing the texture because I changed the fabric. And there you got the suspenders. Now you can add a button on it. Let's say. Change the button. Let's say this one. Round this pot. A little bit lower. If you now simulate, you will see the button will go berserk. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Mostly it does. <laughs> the one thing you can do then, is what I usually do, is select the button, go to the side, collision, off. Then it's okay, but then you still have to reset the button. And now you see it's not right and, uh, on the right spot, so you have to tweak it a little sometimes little bit down until it's right. Sometimes you have to give it a little bit extra fret. Sometimes even a little less. It depends all on what you are doing. That's way too high. A 
But that's an easier way to make uh, suspenders. You can also use that method to uh, make uh, belts to help you help to help with belt buckles. And if you then use uh, extra uh, things like normal map, etc., you can make it appear make it will appear a little bit thicker. So th I think that I will leave it at this. It's already five ma minutes past ten. Thank you for joining my lesson. You can follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube for more information on my lesson. I will paste the URLs in the open chat. My lessons are free, so if you appreciate the, my work and the knowledge I share in my lessons, you can tip me by buying something from my store. Any questions? Yeah, I'm sorry it didn't work out the way <laughs> I wanted it to exactly. I had some problems, but if anybody wants my lessons step by step, if you uh, want to figure it out yourself, if I, if was things were unclear because of the little hiccups here and there, I can easily uh, pack them uh, in, uh, in a zip file and uh, share them with anybody who wants to. <laughs>